Now he's worried. Should let Eddie go first. Don't scream, don't scream, don't scream. It's only the first test. Ow. What's up, guys? Welcome back to React for another episode of Ed and A here. Back to React for episode 8 of season 5. 12 episodes left to season 5. Yes, yeah, so again, close to that big ender. Uh, I, I, I get scared every new episode because I don't want this to end. I don't want to stop React to Ed and Eddie. I love this show. This show is awesome. I know you like it too. Just drop a like and subscribe. You know, I know you like it. You do that. But to recap last episode real quick, it was first part uh, Double D got in the newspaper group. What are they called? Newspaper club? I don't know. Double D was a new editor, head editor of the newspaper club or whatever. And he took over, tried to make money, made a bunch of rumors about everybody. It went like crazy. And then in part two, it was, no, Double D was helping out the nurse and, um, Eddie and Double Ed and Eddie figured out Kevin has some fear of needles, so they tried to uh, scare him because they're tired of his BS. Thinks he's hot shot. They want to take him down in a peg. And it was pretty crazy. It was pretty funny. This show's hilarious. All this show, one of the funniest shows out there, dude. I love Eddie and Eddie. And enough of that talk. I don't know what to expect from episode eight, but let's jump right into this bad boy. Bam! Tinker Ed, Peter Pan under a book or something. And a wand with a star? What is this about? Tinker Ed. Mind control book? <gasps> Whoa. Is he under his mind control? Has he always been under his mind control, bro? What the heck? The the having reading time in the library or something? Kevin's trying to study. He's writing this down? <laughs> he doesn't mean to. Oh? Finish this stupid geography essay. I'm off the team, man. Geography lesson? What are they reading? She turned and waved Mindy the mermaid goodbye. Are they gonna fight each other? You gotta be quiet in the library. Damn. Oh! Got him right in the head. <laughs> Kevin can be cruel too. Fairy tales are not a load of baloney. They're real golly ghosts. You'll see. You'll see. Wow. Why does Rolf have a bag full of baloney? How is it that the others know of Rolf's loads of baloney? Oh, you said fairy tales are baloney. Bro, anyone can see your baloney. He's coming out. Uh oh, what's Eddie up to? Why has he got pants? What's going on? He took somebody's pants? <gasps> oh, Kevin. Naz? What happened? Silly me. And here I thought we would be on to Oh, they he pants Ed? Uh oh, school's out. Jimmy's trying to prove to Kevin, Kevin fairy tales are real. Whoa! Oh, it's like flying carpet. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. Not you too. Oh no, nobody's believing in these fairy tales. Even Ed, the dumb one. Oh. Whoa, he really is crying that image away. That's crazy. Oh. Turn that frown upside down. Oh, though no, these worried. What's he gonna do? So happens, I saw a unicorn in the woods this very morning. You're gonna scam him, bro. <laughs> you go see it. Oh, oh. Yes. oh 25 cents. Oh. Aw. Thank you, Eddie. Don't forget me, kids. <laughs> 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 Why don't you leave me in Eddie's so cruel, bro. I know he's planning something devious. What the heck? Why is everyone after Rolf's baloney? What's in the bag? Baloney. <laughs> a lot of homework. Rolf has much the homework. Certainly not a load of baloney. No, no. Why are you hiding the baloney, bro? You want to share it? Who's got a hockey stick? Whoa. Eddie? Canadians. Oh, <laughs> the mosquitoes are all after him. Scared the unicorn. Oh. <gasps> Wow, it looks magical. Oh my god. No way. No. <laughs> oh, rare unicorn. Unicracker? Only a quarter. Oh. As long as he believes, he's gonna take the head off. Oh no! Pet it costs extra, you cheapskate. You killed it. You killed it. Oh my god, he gave birth to Ed. Thanks. Kevin was right. No! It ain't my fault that 
Fairy Tail stuffs a load of baloney. A load of baloney. Oh, bro, just take it home already. Or I'll eat it. I don't know what you want with the baloney. No, what's your baloney, bro? Can't eat it all right now. Oh, well. Damn, bro. Why are you so paranoid about your baloney? Share it or not, stingy ass. Jimmy? Oh no. He's sad. What happened to Jimmy? Why won't they show his face? I have no recollection of this episode ever, not even in my childhood. What the? Why did I miss this? Uh oh. Gorged and guilt. The oh, he feels horrible. Oh well, I think I can't your way. They try to help him. Kinda reminds me of the day my brother told me cartoons weren't real. <laughs> they're not real. <laughs> he was. Oh no, they're not real. Whoa, <gasps> Jimmy. I saw G oh, Sarah. I thought it was Jimmy. He's a zombie. A <laughs> zombie. Dope zombie. They had him was like that. Oh. Before sundown. Oh. Is that a real cloud over his head? Okay, that how is that real? Whoa, he finally snapped. Dude. The ants have been messing with this poor Jimmy kid forever, dude. Many episodes of them just doing him dirty. He finally crashed. Oh my god! What is going on, bro? Just throw him over here. Jeez. You realize just like a girl this season, huh? Double D? A tide of oh, hey, he's a mermaid. I'm a Wenis. Is is that a real name? Never heard of that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> What's Ed? Gnome. Oh. Oh. What's that? Gordon Horseshoe? Why is that there? What's going on? Weird's going on. Tell you what. If it's weird, you so much, I'll give you a quarter for it. <laughs> what? It's What's fun. going on? We really found it. Wait, what? I'm afraid this is nothing more than a plastic dental retainer. Did he trick him? He did it on purpose? Oh, that? Indeed. X marks the spot? <gasps> they planned this. Him and Sarah? Fuck you, Kevin! I better go spread this with the others at school. They'll sure want to see this. We've already seen that eating girl outfit. We've seen it. Oh my, they got their revenge. For stupid quarter. For real. She wants to talk to Wait, there's a cloud already. What a load of baloney! Baloney. Oh, Ruff, it is baloney. That's side plot. Forgot about this. Mama! Save him! Oh, it's funny, okay. Stingy though, share some baloney, bro. Golly. That was been part one, part two. What was part two called? The Good, the Bad, and the Ed. Oh, the Good, the Bad, and the Ed. Isn't that a famous movie about. I don't know what's about. Like two cowboys, three cowboys, and they go and do something. Fight. That's cleaning her house, her window. Someone's flying a plane. That's cool. Cool toy plane. I want one of those. Everyone's doing chores today. It must be Sunday or something. I don't know. Cool. Who's that? They got it stuck on the roof. <gasps> Urban Rangers are back! Let's go! Rangers! What's the sign up here? The yeah, ants try to be Rangers on time. They, 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 they failed all their chest. Oh. Yo. You got your own trash bag. Wow. Nice. They helped everybody. That's dope. Nice. Come on, be happy, Eddie. Wow. Who will join? Will they try a second time? They should know their history. Oh, he's calling him a pussy. Whoa. <laughs> That's not even that funny. <laughs> oh, How about I the hardest badge you got? Ooh. Right Ooh. <laughs> the hardest badge? The Harry chest of what? 50 years. 50 years? Oh. Oh. A chicken. A bigger 
Durban Free Ranger chicken. <laughs> I got a badge for you. Get out of there. It sounds like a big I'll chicken. Whatever Rolf did. And lay an egg bed. <laughs> <laughs> Mercury. You know not where you tread it, boy! Follow the chicken. Champion! Yeah, champion. According to my calculations, taking into consideration mass versus height Shut the scope of coverage and sheer body hair, Rolf surpasses you in every category, Eddie! He's not that smart. He's not that smart! Scams? Rolf's not. Rolf doesn't beat him at every category. You gotta let Eddie be confident sometimes. Sometimes confidence is key. Yeah. On a series of tests ordained by the Grand Poobah. It's a good one. I'm excited. Notum murmur, a mumble, or a mutter of grief in order to earn the coveted Harry Chest of Resilience badge. Harry Chest of Resilience? Oh, is this a, is a paint test? First one of prize. Oh. Man, I could do this. I wouldn't make a sound. They don't have no hair, though, like... Would he even hurt? Yeah, Rolf's hairier. It's gonna hurt more for him. And he really is confident, huh? Oh, oh it grew back real fast. It looks painful. Ugh. Now he's worried. Should let Eddie go first. Don't scream, don't scream, don't scream. It's only the first test, bro. Ouch. Are you ready to cry? <laughs> He's like cry, but you gotta stay confident, Eddie. You got this. You're you're confident getting gotta keep it. He didn't cry, he didn't cry. I'm gonna beat them at their own game. Right. Yeah, when he's wearing their toughest badge, they're gonna cry. Bumping of the funny bone. Bumping of the funny bone? Oh, they're gonna bump their elbow. <laughs> oh my god, this is awesome. I, can I do that? I don't wanna do it now. Oh! Oh! How many times? Oh! 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 Oh!
Did he wait? Well, um, you passed out. You passed out? One second before Rolf, Eddie. So, Rolf won by default. What? One lousy second! Wow, cool badge, Rolf. Let me see! He only beat him by one second, though! Do not touch the badge, right. merchants of processed cheese bread! Damn, he gets nothing for second place, though. He shut up to Eddie, man. Well, Only one second. Bro no yeah. thought he was that tough for him, though. He gets something. Here you go, the cry baby boo hoo badge. See, but he didn't quit. He gets that. He didn't quit. Urban no. Rangers, urban scumbags. Hey, he went off through all that. One second. Right. You heard him, Eddie! Rest is best! So be no pest and I'll wear a vest! Wow, he raps now? Second. One second for real, though! Like, it was way tougher than everybody thought, though! Like, y'all can't talk trash. No one can talk trash. Eddie's the man. I don't know. I really liked it if they made Eddie the winner, though. Man. Man! One second! Eddie should've had it! Should've get the badge, too! He didn't quit at all! He didn't cry a single second. He didn't say I, I quit. Anyways, more information about this episode. That one got me real pumped up at the end. More information about Tinkerbell. Trivia. Skipping the goose. What is that? The storyboard of the deleted scene? There's a deleted scene? Playing greeting in my control book might be a joke about how he's considered supernatural. It may also be poking fun at the implication given throughout the series that Plank controls Jimmy. Mine. That is true. He does control him, bro. On the title card, a pair of green legs can be seen protruding from under the book. There's a reference to Wizard of Oz. Oh, that was Peter Pan. The reverse psychology manual can be seen next to Jimmy in the library or Johnny. I remember that book. That was a good episode when it used reverse psychology on the cankers. Double D breaks the fourth wall when he says it's gonna take a lot of explaining to get out of this plot hole. Hell, <laughs> what? When did he say that? I missed it. Dang. An additional scene was storyboarded but cut due to restraint. It Rolf mentioned a uh, NASA mermaid, Genie is a gingerbread man, Plank is a fairy. Oh, cool. We cut that due to time. That would have been cool tying to the first plot. I mean, that subplot, uh, it was like, okay, it was kind of funny. It's just a joke they were doing about Rolf's para with his uh, baloney that he can't share. Now, that was the Now, part two, the good, the bad, and the end. More information about this episode. I wonder what's the title reference to. Trivia. Ed says, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. This reference to Monty Python sketch. Nudge, nudge, involving in new I don't know what that means. This episode is title reference to 1966 Spaghetti Western film, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. Oh, I've never heard of it. I mean, I have heard of it, never seen it. I saw a career version, but I didn't see that one either. I just saw the title and poster or whatever. Anyways, Plank's parents make a brief cameo in the Urban Rangers pamphlet. I didn't see him. Damn, that's all the trivia about part two. Not a lot of trivia. Someone said awful episode. I like this episode. This episode sucks in my opinion. Oh my God. I like this episode. It's my favorite. Okay, me too. First episode of the show, really? God damn, I'm, I'm watching these shows through like a different type of lens, y'all. <laughs> I really like this episode. <laughs> what the fuck? Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, there's definitely some episodes I don't like. Uh, there's the one with the sticky cheese and Rolf's jacket. I mean, not Rolf, Ed's jacket. That that one, the first and second part were kind of boring, boring episode. This is not a bad episode. This season rocks. Funny episode, hilarious. And you guys are hilarious for watching without subscribing. So what are you doing? Hit the subscribe button. You can be cool. And thank you for watching. I hear you come back for next week. More Ed and Eddie reactions. Thinking about streaming the Ed and Eddie video game. That would be a cool thing to do. So be on the lookout for that. I'll see you guys then. Peace out. Mo out.